Here are some edible mushrooms called Lycoperdon, Lycoperdon perlatum, also known as pearl puffballs. You can see they're everywhere on this log. Some other mushrooms too, don't know what they are. There's a mascot carp. But you can see, kind of have like a club shape there. Only pick them if they're solid white on the inside. As soon as they change to a yellowish green in any kind of tint, they're no good to eat. Here are some more of those pearl puff balls, a little older. You can see they kind of get large too when they are on the ground, got a lot of moisture to suck up from. But they feel spongy and even though though they're not color on the inside, it's still pretty uh pretty soft. I'll probably just let these sporulate and make a lot more. You want to get them when they're nice and firm. It's when they taste the best. Wow, I got another first I found out here. Does this look familiar? It's kind of old though. This is the Heresium Americanum. Lion's mane, growing in the wild here in Ohio off this very old rotten log. Let's see, this looks a little bit better. Isn't that fascinating? A little bit down the way, there's a couple other patches. Looks like I'm probably about two weeks too late. Maybe less. Maybe about a week too late. I don't usually come down this way in the woods. But, I guess I should have, huh? Tis the season for puffballs. You can see this large one right here. Although they get considerably larger. That's a Calvatia gigantea. Giant puffball. And you know, it's... I think I'll probably take it with me. It's nice and firm. Not too ate up on the outside. I found a couple puffballs about two weeks ago in the same area. Again, you know, lots of dotted sunlight and leaf litter. There's even a another good one over here that was small. Before I was finding them, finding them though, kind of hollowed out by the critters. It looked like a, a nice puffball sitting there, but turned it over and it was empty on the inside. I was like, huh. So, that's pretty cool. If you want to see some really large pictures of puffballs, go check out the Reddit Mycology forums. There was a contest this year where, well, an unofficial contest, but basically, somebody found one on a university walk, I believe, that was uh, like the size of a, a large boulder, like 50 pounds, maybe 50 kilograms. It was, it was enormous. But there you go. Found even a bigger one. You hear that? It's like a watermelon. <laughs> Holy cow! I don't think I'm going to be able to hike all these puffballs out of here. There's so many. My God. I've never seen something like this before. Even on other people's videos. It's like soccer balls everywhere. So one, two, three, four, five, six back there. Seven, eight, nine, ten, all this general area, and you know, there's probably 
laundry baskets full of them out here. Amazing. And there's little itty but puff balls too. I wonder what the environment around here is. It's allowing for all these to pop up. More grown off the side there. Another small one. Yep, I'm gonna fill up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to sell them at the market. So I was able to bring back six of these big puffers. And I did find a little bit of a chicken of a woods on another log. Not off that one log that I showed you. As somebody pointed out, I actually probably could have picked that one. I didn't realize how dense they were. They're very dense. So uh, even though I had some bugs on it, it was probably still good. But now at least I got that, that I can try to see what its flavor is like and get some spores from it to make some spore syringes. But I'm going to probably put these back in the original bag. Maybe they cover the top with some piece of paper or something and then put them into refrigeration and try to see if I can get rid of them this week's farmer's market.